Today at the National Assembly, there were grillings and heated debate over the Itaewon crowd crush. At a parliamentary probe, lawmakers grilled the police response on that tragic night. Our National Assembly correspondent Yi shi reports. Firefighter Yu Hejin was at the site of the tragic crowd crush in Itaewon in late October. She made an emotional apology on Wednesday to the families of the victims. The firefighters and I did all that we could with all our might, but we are deeply sorry to the families of the victims for the terrible results. This is at the first parliamentary hearing organized by the National Assembly's Special Committee on the Parliamentary Probe into the Itaewon Tragedy. The bipartisan hearing was held as part of the parliamentary probe to investigate how the tragedy happened and to prevent similar incidents in the future. Legislators lamented the lack of proper action from officials leading up to and during the incident that took 159 lives. The people of South Korea cannot but stop and think that such a huge tragedy wouldn't have taken place if there were responsible judgment and action from the public officials. The government, transportation, security, 112, they all failed. In other words, it was a complete failure. Many questions were focused on the response from the police. The PPP heavily questioned the former head of the Yongsan police station, Lee im -jae. The DP denounced that the police did not thoroughly prepare for crowd control because they focused their manpower on preventing other crimes like drug use. Among others summoned as witnesses were National Police Chief Yoon hee Chief of the Seoul Metropolitan Police Agency Kim gwang ho and the Chief of Yongsan Fire Station Choi sung bum a total of 44 witnesses have been summoned, with all but seven present in the morning. The second hearing is scheduled to take place on Friday with the Interior Minister Lee Sang-min and Seoul Mayor Oh Se-hoon set to appear. Meanwhile, the 45-day parliamentary probe ends this Saturday. The main opposition Democratic Party has called for an extension, but the ruling People Power Party said they would need to further discuss with the special committee on how long any extension should be. Lee Si-hoo, Arirang News.